My name is Robert. Most people call me Rob. I've worked at Evergreen for 27 years. I work mainly in the London store mm -hmm. on German Street, mm -hmm. but I do the occasional trunk show like this, mm -hmm. showing our shoes, helping Nathan mm -hmm. with the hand stitching. That's mainly what I do. My favourite, Dover. This one is the 202, so very traditional, mm -hmm. round toe, mm -hmm. hand stitch. My favourite. So about the letter, do you prefer suede or tab? I am very fond of suede. Yeah, okay. I love suede shoes. Yeah. I have now four pairs of suede mm -hmm. Dovers. Okay. They know me in the shop for wearing mainly suede shoes. Some people are kind of confusing about the pairing of two, which is quite difficult. That's a popular question that we yeah. get asked in store. Is it delicate? Mm -hmm. But the good suede is mm -hmm. as strong as calf. It's only some of the lower grade suedes that are not resilient to bad weather but they get wet you just let them dry naturally it's fine what is the shoes that you have wear for longest time the style is called canterbury mm -hmm. and i had it in chestnut antique calf mm -hmm. and it lasted me for 16 years that's the oldest pair i have is 16. that's not unusual i have customers in london that have had our shoes at least 20, 25 years. They can be repaired many times. And if you look after the uppers, mm -hmm. then you get them resold mm -hmm. by us. Mm -hmm. They last for many years. It's an investment. Mm -hmm. You don't just wear them, throw them away. Yes. It's something over many years. The trunk shoe means that the, per the customer comes in and they order the shoes they want. Yeah. We don't do fully made to measure. We do what we call made to order, uh, yes. which is where a person can select mm -hmm the style obviously, but also the colour, the sole type, the size and width that he likes that fits best, but also the little things like the lining, mm -hmm. but it's mainly about getting the fit right for a trunk show yeah. and then he can be confident to order again yes. and again. Yes. Can you briefly explain about the top drawer? The top drawer range is still made on our glass, mm -hmm. our basic glass, so we don't make them to measure, but there's a more handwork involved. Mm -hmm. Mainly the finishing of the sole, mm -hmm. the waist, mm -hmm. it looks very bespoke, mm -hmm. very traditional English bespoke. Mm -hmm. It looks very much like that. But again, the customer can choose the colour, the last, yeah. everything about. Yeah. Even to having um, like initials maybe mm -hmm. on the sole mm -hmm. in uh, brass. Mm -hmm. To a degree, they can play and choose mm -hmm. the design a little more. We can do a little more mm -hmm. than uh, just with our basic yes. um, patterns. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite bespoke but it it certainly looks as good as many bespoke shoes yeah. that I've seen. Any preparation of you you would like to recommend for the customer? I very much like the the Utah leathers. Yeah. The leather with the uh, the patterns are very soft leather mm -hmm. so immediately the customer f will feel that it is a, a good yeah. comfortable shoe. Mm -hmm. The oil mm -hmm. that they use in the processing of this leather yes. it makes it softer. It almost mm -hmm. like uh, tenderizes mm -hmm. the skin. I have a pair of the famous Galway boot mm -hmm. in this leather, but in the dark brown version like mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and it's super comfortable. Korean customers really love of the Dover Chelsea, yep. the classical models. Yep. So what makes the Evergreen shoes more classic? The main thing is the classic shape, mm -hmm. which appeals to many people. Yes. Not too crazy with the colors. Mm -hmm. You know, the classics, we try and come up with new designs, mm -hmm. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But always, it seems that the Dover, the Chelsea, the Piccadilly, yeah. they're always the ones that do well. Mm -hmm. um, it's just classic design. I mean, we're not trying to be too fancy, just understated, but classic, yeah. elegant. Street, some Korean guys were yeah, wearing yeah. the suits yeah, and yeah. the shoes. Uh, what about the hair style? Same as everywhere, I'm worried about how many people wear sneakers these <laughs> days. So it saddens me a little bit where people are willing to spend a lot of money on maybe a, a nice suit yeah. and then they spend crazy money on sneakers yes. and it doesn't look so great yeah. to me. <laughs> but it's not just Korea, it's everywhere. The UK, yeah. uh, particularly America, yeah. people are wearing formal suits and just sneakers, you know. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to support that. I don't think Evergreen could ever make a sneaker. Sneakers, yeah. I don't think it's something that our customers would want. Um, <laughs> I think if they saw that, mm -hmm. they would be a little bit worried about which direction we were going. Mm -hmm. I think it's important that we stick to our values mm -hmm. and our traditions mm -hmm. and what we are particularly good at. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to mm -hmm. create a good name, yes. but it's very easy to lose that.
we would lose, I think, a lot of our good customers, loyal customers. Most have already known of Edward Green and, and they've done their homework. Yes. They come to a trunk show because they have something specific in mind. In mind. Yeah. And it's a good opportunity to confirm things, as you said earlier, like size and fitting. Because obviously we do it every day. It's not just an immediate fit. Mm -hmm. You have to explain that it will become softer, more comfortable mm -hmm. as, as you wear them in. Give the customer a little bit of confidence that they will soften up and explain the reasons mm -hmm. why. Yeah. It's good to um, spread the word. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure.